Global Ecology Open Source Model. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 159. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 159, April 10th, 2016 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, Designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the second 25% of the written content for the summer lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan purpose to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of summer is now 50% completed on our website. Behind the scenes, we wrote the first 25% of the written part of the information lesson plan. We also completed the second 25% of the mind map for the cooperation and collaboration lesson plan, bringing it to 50% complete, which you see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. As part of the development of our food self-sufficiency transition plan, this week we finalized and are launching our sustainable food nutrition calculations page to the public, which is based on contributions provided by naturopathic Dr. Matt Martrano, creator of the Coherent Model for Comprehensive Digestive Health. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team put another 10 hours into the behind-the-scenes revision for the Footers Foundations and Flooring page for the crowdfunding campaign we are developing. This week's focus was determining and describing step-by-step -step applications of polyethylene to various locations within the FFF CAD drawing, particularly focusing on the poly determinations of trying to cut pieces in single sheets and forming to existing shapes, adding poly narrative for section 6 construction of footer, adding poly narrative for section 11 construction of stem walls and dome interior foundation around the 12-inch EPS, we also added the poly details for under the dome floor section and the exterior dome ring section. We'd say we are now 76% complete with this total update and rewrite behind the scenes. Working on the Treehouse Village Pod 7, Jessica Warbach, architectural drafter, designer, and 3D modeler, completed the work you see here, including internal and external layouts for the hostel treehouse and additional details in the library. Then she created these renders of her work, and this presentation proposal. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, further developed what's necessary for us to create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here is update 14 of this work that included designing a representation of what we envision the natural and do-it-yourself constructed playground equipment will look like. Brianna Johnson, interior designer, also continued evolving the renders for the Straw Bale Village Pod 2. What you see here is the final render for the exercise room now with the addition of the outdoor areas and surrounding living spaces. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, 
also created these new render scene previews to better share the features of the tropical atrium that is the center of the Earthbag Village, Pod 1. These scenes now go to our core team for rendering and then back to Shadi for final Photoshop touch-ups. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team finished two renders of the social dome of the duplicable city center. Here is a render of the upper and lower levels and the final higher quality render for the second floor. We also started render work for the cupola that tops the duplicate city center. This week's focus there included designing scene selection, addition and placement of scene relevant components, and setting up textures, lights, and shadows. Iris Sue, industrial designer, also continued exploring lighting and shelving options for the duplicate city center library. What you see here is round two of this research, exploration, and design outlining for open source and do-it-yourself lighting and shelving that will go with the DIY pipe furniture chairs and couches Iris designed already for this social and recreation space. Behind the scenes, Mike Hogan, automation systems developer and business systems consultant, and Lucas Tsui Da Silva, fourth-year computer engineering student, continued development of the control system's main panel. This week's focus was further evolving our designs into the image you see here is what we think will be our final design. Wang Bao, software developer, also began transferring the work of last year's intern team into the new Duplicate City Center electrical page. What you see here is the first third of the complete content live on the new page. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true Earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team created the new onboarding tutorial you see here. This is to help new managers we bring on and the teams we are building to get integrated into our system and helping with the various components as easily and fluidly as possible. We also made final edits and continued the multi-hour reorganization of the icons designed by graphic designer Ivan Manzarov. The icons we finished and organized this week were the Highest Good Society and Highest Good Economics icon shown here. We'd say we are now about 60% done with this graphics task. Richard Tanzer, patent agent, also continued editing our open source and patents page. The original page was created by Oz Zersky, and here you can see Richard's third round of updates and edits happening behind the scenes. We'd say Richard is about 60% done with the complete page edit and update. Lokesh Gopu, software engineer, also began building a new version of the One Community's Highest Good Network software for project tracking a sustainable community collaboration. These images are the initial layouts created by Lokesh. What One Community is creating is a global ecology open source model. To do this, we are open sourcing the foundations of an evolution of sustainability that combines the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, with the emotional foundations of sustainability that we've identified as highest good education, highest good economics, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. Putting these things together as an evolution of sustainability that can be replicated as either individual components, which is the food, the energy, the housing, the education, each one is an individual component, or that can be replicated as a complete model which is what one community will be the prototype for. A complete teacher demonstration, community, village, city, or hub to be built anywhere around the world, and a solution model specifically to produce more highest good solutions of food, energy, housing, education, economics, fulfilled living practices, and stewardship that is self-replicating. Design a solution model to create additional solution creating models. Every component can be individually replicated, and adapted and modified because it's open source, or it can be put together as a complete teacher demonstration hub built anywhere in the world to help invite people to visit, experience what it is that one community is creating if they like it, to take the foundations, the open source blueprints that will provide how much it will cost, how many hours of label, labor it will require, all of the blueprints, the tools, the tutorials, the do-it-yourself instructions for replication, and replicate it either the same way or as a foundation for modification and adaptation to meet differing needs. This is our global ecology open source model, and the idea for creating global ecology is to make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it attractive enough so that it'll spread on its own. 
these teacher demonstration hubs teaching others how to live this way too if they like it enough. And that's why we're built on the open source platform because that's the easy enough and that's the affordable enough component and then the attractive enough aspect is what one community will be. It will be that experience of living that most people we feel will find to be better than the way that they're living right now. Providing more of the things that people want as far as free time and time with friends and family, but also more things to do with that free time with the fulfilled living model, with the different social architecture and aspects of it, the high school education, all those things, putting them all together so that people have more financial freedom, more time freedom, and more things to do with all of that. And specifically built on highest good infrastructure so that everything that is created through this moves the planet forward. And for people that join the global highest good network and want to help open source share all those tools, tutorials, resources, their adaptations and modifications to what it is that we're creating, then that will help to create the global suite, the global collection of collaborative do-it-yourself instructions, tools, tutorials, resources, all that stuff so that more people will be able to, to participate in the global ecology open source model evolution, growth, development, and sharing process. This is what one community is up to, and we're bringing together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all that believe that it is not only possible, but that the time is now and the people that want to participate in it and be a part of what it is that we're creating. So if this sounds interesting to you, if that sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you or something you'd like to participate in, we have made it as easy as possible for people to get involved, to join us as either the pioneer members that will build one community, that will move onto the property and build everything that is one community and start inviting people to come and visit and experience it, or just as consultants and volunteers helping behind the scenes, donating their time to help move the project forward with their specific expertise in the areas that they want to help with as well. Our entire team is volunteers. None of us are paid. I'm not paid. Nobody else on our project is paid for what it is that we're doing. We're all volunteering our time because we believe that a better world is possible and because we like being a part of it because we want to live this way. The time has come. So people ask, well, how can we help support one community? Well, of course, you can participate, help contributing your time, become a volunteer with our organization. Uh, if you'd like a very easy way to help us out, you can also share our information on social media. We are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible to share our information. We are on LinkedIn, Sue, Twitter, Tumblr, Reddit, uh, Facebook, and about 15 other social media networks, Pinterest, to make it as easy as possible for people to get the information out there, to access our open source blueprints, tools, tutorials, to, to share the idea of global ecology and the open source model that goes along with that. Or, of course, we're not focusing on a lot right now because our primary focus is on infrastructure, but we are still seeking a large scale funder. It would be a huge step forward for our project to be able to take the property that we've identified and been working with now for over five years to get that property off the market, to get it under the ownership of our nonprofit organization through either an investment in one community or a donation to our 51c3 nonprofit organization, because then we could share that location and it would help us to launch a specific crowdfunding campaign that we've been working on for a long time right now. And more importantly, it would allow us to start that and build that crowdfunding campaign on that property which would forward our whole open source process a lot faster, allow us to build our team a lot faster, and allow us to just do everything that we're doing more efficiently and effectively than we're doing it right now. So this is what one community is up to. This is how we're creating global uh, ecology open source model. This is our invitation to join us. This is our pathway to building a bridge between pragmatism and idealism, taking the foundations of sustainability that already exists, these tools, these resources, these concepts that we're looking at for the food, the energy, the housing, these things already exist. But building on that platform, we can create this foundation of high school economics, a totally revolutionary and new high school education model that we're developing, as well as the fulfilled living practices, the social architecture, and the true earth stewardship that we've taken to a level that is new and innovative and inspirational, and in so doing, invite the world to participate in a way that we have described as selfish philanthropy or selfish humanitarianism. Because putting these things together is that evolution of sustainability can and will create a better way of living for people. And that's how we know that it'll become self-replicating. Because for selfish reasons, people can live for the highest good of all. Or if they want to do humanitarian things, if they just want to do it from the goodness of their heart, if they want to be a part of creating change, riding this wave and being at the front of this wave of positive change and positive influence on the world and making a difference. Well, of course, that's what we're doing too. 
but we want to provide something for everybody. And this is our highest good philosophy. This is the consciousness that we're creating from, we're inviting people to participate from. So as always, thanks for following our progress. Thank you for the emails that we get. Thank you for the small donations that we get, the $5, the $10 donations. They make a huge difference to our organization. You know, because none of us are paid, every donation goes towards our foundational operating expenses, which are currently higher than our donations. So little donations help to make it so that that money doesn't have to come out of the foundational members' pockets and allows us to operate uh, a little bit more effectively, and it's just helpful. So uh, anyway, thanks for following progress. Thanks for tapping in to this update and the emails and the shares. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.